Just before 10 o'clock tonight, we had reports of a 7.6 magnitude earthquake here in the Caribbean Sea, and you can see how close it is to land. This has prompted a tsunami advisory. In other words, there are conditions that this could potentially lead to a tsunami around the Caribbean, all the way from Mexico, Belize, Honduras, all the way over to Jamaica, and even the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. So why did this occur? Well, you have the Caribbean plate down there in the Caribbean Sea. You have the North American plate, and they're rubbing together. So, in other words, they're going more like this. It's what we call a transform fault. So, what exactly is a transform fault? So, let me go ahead and show you. Basically, you have the North American plate and the Caribbean plate. They're kind of rubbing against each other all the time, and then it, the earthquake finally forced them to go apart. And another thing I like to talk to kids about, if you want to illustrate it, Put your knuckles together like this and then kind of go back and forth like this and you'll feel your knuckles kind of catch and those knuckles kind of catching is what this transform fault is. So, But this is actually some good news because not as much vertical movement. So you're not seeing things going up or down, which would create a greater threat for a tsunami. That would be more of a thrust fault. So in other words, more of a, a thrust like that going up into the water. Fortunately, that's not the case here. This is a transform fault, but still. A meter of wave is possible along coastal sections of the Caribbean, so we'll keep a close eye on things as we progress throughout the evening. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up in case you hear about it over the next day or two. Now, 